to the Rapid River. Well, we made it to the campsite on Friday night. John and I are debating whether to take camp number four, which was assigned to us, or camp number five, which is wide open. Um, camp number five is a lot further away from these other people, and I don't really want to be around them. So, so we take camp number five, and if someone comes, says, hey, camp number five is ours, then we'll just get up and move to camp four. But, you know, John, just, nope, that's not cool. You can't do that. So we're going to work on him for a little bit, try to figure this out. What's up, Johnny? Run past camera. Now what uh, what campsite are you going for? I want five, but I'm waiting for. I'm gonna just wait it out a little bit and relax. It's not what Tim likes to hear. <laughs> Doing it the right way. Let's just take it. No one's here. We're gonna see. All right, we are gonna find out. I could be wrong. All right, John, what do we have going on? I've got some uh, wicking material on my body. Nice and cool out. I'd say it's maybe like 68, 75 degrees. We've got some all nighters we found in the woods, some all nighter logs. Burn on the fire. Don't have to tend to them too much. They'll keep a good current of flame going. We're going to cook us up some food here. But first, Tim's going to head out back on the river and catch us something special. Where's my fish, John? <laughs> it's just a story now, Tim. It's just a story. Dude, I, knew, I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> I had to clean them off. Anyway. All right, I guess you can't eat it. It was a sucker, but let me tell you, I'm shaking. Um, it was big. It was fat. It was a great fish. I love Maine. Morning. <coughs> Morning. Morning. Mm. <coughs> what a night. Mm. What a day of paddling. Today we're gonna head back, paddle up, down, or over. Gonna hit the end just caulking. And um, make our way back to uh, the pickup truck. And, Head on back to uh, Uncle Pappy's place and um, get back in that hot tub. Ow. Oh, oh, sorry. Fuck. Excuse my language. Oh, uh, that's the start of a morning coffee. And I'm a man who needs his morning coffee right now. Badly. Keep working, John. Keep working, buddy. 24-7, motherfucker. Keep my coffee going. There's the old campsite. It was wonderful. Now we're going to go back that way, across the lake, up the Androscoggin River, to home. We have a 4.30 pickup. We're not sure if we're going to make it or not, so we got to try to move. And then I um, want to hit the old Cody store in Errol, New Hampshire. Try to get some live free or die gear. Cause that's what I'm doing. I'm living, I'm not dying. And we got some, some birds. Some birds in the water. John's still back at the campsite taking a poop. So I'm going to sit out here and love this place pretty much. That's about all I do is talk about it. I'm not sure if I go that way or that way. Let's ask the birds. What's up, John? What's your what's your question? Well, if we get a motorboat, then we can we can rent a motorboat or buy a little motorboat. And we can get the salmon in the morning and the bass in the afternoon. Keep them. This is when uh, you have to ask yourself, why do I live in Ohio? Let me show you some of the scene, scenery, and the scene.
action. Agnus Dei, qui tolles peccat harmundi. I think I lost John. There's the eagle. We made it across the lake. Now we're going, I don't know, out this way somewhere, I guess. <laughs> Kind of looks the same. I'm ready for to see some automobiles. We're coming back to the future. Damn motor boaters. Get the hell off my lake. Should be a wake rule. That is what you call prime real estate. This is some kind of special nest. I don't know. Is that a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a bald eagle? I thought this looked really nice. Crazy ass beauty. Well, we made it back. This is the landing. Kayaks are back. The road is up there. We're a little early. But uh maybe maybe they'll help us. Nope. Nope. Blew on by. <laughs>